Shalom, shalom. First foremost, I'm gonna get all on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone Rule. Well, been a great jump to the young brothers and the truth. And peace and blessing to the hopeful elect. And Lord when this edifying. And this is Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. And ultimately, I got that because, hey, you two thirds of people they have, they they the people who they look towards as to be leaders, they have no vision, man. You know, they don't know what's going on. Just ultimately, majority of our people they don't know what the fuck going on, man. They don't see the bigger picture. They don't see what's going on. They don't. All they, you know, they steady. Our people still leaning on Creepy Joe and and DJ Trump, man. You know? So, our people don't have no vision, man. They don't know what the fuck going on, man. You know? They ain't, they ain't paying attention to them sitting, getting ready to come down with Great Ralph uh, doing Jacob's trouble. You know, they not paying attention to what's going on in the earth, man. You know? <laughs> Neither do they care, man. Our people don't care about nothing, man. You know? They don't care about nothing. But let's read this one more time. Where there is no, Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Yeah. And what it, the Lord say, hey, these people with no vision, they going to perish, man. What the scriptures say, if the blind lead the blind, I grabbed it. Let me find it. Let me get that precept. Because going into no vision, that means you're blind, man. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse. Twelve. It say, Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were uh, offend, uh, offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father, Yahweh, have not planted, shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They are blind. Leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. So at the end of the day, <laughs> hey, the leaders of our people, man, they are blind. And guess who they lead? Two-thirds of our people who are blind, man. And if the blind lead the blind, they shall both, both fall into a ditch. They don't have no vision, man. They don't see themselves being rulers over these heathens, man. You know? They don't see themselves keeping the law, statutes, and commandments uh, uh, of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They don't see the outcome of it, man. You know? They don't see the destruction that's going to come. They don't see these things. They don't see the... Uh, I don't know why they don't see it. They don't see the economy cr crashing, you know, in America becoming a third world country before it's taken out, man. Less than a third world country, man. They don't see these things. They don't see the famine coming, man. You know, our people are blinded, man. They caught up in all this bullshit, man. You know, they caught up in the voting. They caught up in this Black Lives Matter shit, focused on it. Uh, NBA finals, you know, just the bullshit, the entertainment that Esau has set up to keep them blinded. And the entertainers who set up to keep our people blinded, telling our people to vote, man. Talking about Joe Biden save us and all this old other crazy shit. Get rid of the vote, 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 vote. You know? But our people finna, hey, 
two thirds of our people finna go out the the worst way, man. Let me pull this all the way up. This Romans eleven and verse seven. It say, "What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded." <laughs> Going to blind, you have no vision, man. You know. According as it is written, God have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And the Lord done these things to them, man. You know, the Lord allowed them to be in a strong delusion, man. The Lord allowed them to be deceived, because the Lord say the deceived and the deceiver is his, man. You know, so the Lord is allowing you to, you know, <laughs> not be able to get this so he can ultimately destroy you, man. You know, if you can't understand it, if you don't want to accept it, if you're offended in the words of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, ultimately it's, hey, to your, um, hey, what the scriptures say? He that had no vision, he shall perish, man. You know, and it, 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 hey, it's finna get real out here, man. You know? Verse uh, 9, and David, you know, King David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, no vision, that they may not see, no vision, you can't see, and bow down their backs always. So, hey. Ultimately, two-thirds of our people, they're going to be destroyed because they have no vision, man. They're going to perish, man. That's why the scriptures say he that have no vision going to perish, man. And happy is he that keep the laws of the Most High, man. Roughly paraphrasing. It say verse, per, Proverbs 29 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. Yeah, because if you blind, you don't, see, you don't see the bigger picture, man. You don't see the... Hey, you, the Lord is going to allow you to be taken as a thief because the Lord say, Lo, I come as a thief in the night. Blesses he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, man. Roughly paraphrasing, you know. And if you ain't watching, you know, the scriptures say if, if a, a wise man watch for the thief, how can he be taken? You know, and we watching for the Lord because it's the Lord referring to himself as that thief, man, you know. He finna come take you people's lives, man, for not doing what he told you to do, man. You know? Not repenting. It say, well, where there's no vision, the people perish, but happy is he that keepeth the law. Oh, so like if, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. You know? So, hey, by us being obedient to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, that's us having vision, man. Us seeing the bigger picture. The scriptures say Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. It say the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, man. You know, according to as it's written, you know, just roughly paraphrasing, the, the Lord say the people who can't get it, they blinded, man. You know? But we're going to keep keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities and, ha and happy is going to be us. Why? Because we're going to get delivered. Lord willing, we are that number, man. You know, and we're not perfect. You know, he ain't saying that ain't mean to keeping the law perfect, but it's, it's having a, a a a fear and a reverence for your how by Shem Yahweh Shai throughout your day to day, man, and not in the spirit of our people. I this, I that, <laughs> depending on Esau, depending on the government, you know, depending on a job, leaning to all these other things, but their power, man. They have no vision, man. You know, us being Israelites, those are stumbling blocks and traps to two thirds of our people, man. You know, that's the Lord setting them up for that, that great slaughter that's going to come, man. If you despise this word, most definitely, man. You know. In this Revelation chapter three and verse 18, I counsel, I count, I counsel thee. To be, I counsel thee to be tried, to be, Salaki, Salaki, Salaki. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in fire, 
that thou mayest be rich and white and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thine eye with thyself that thou that thou mayest see and that ultimately that's what's happening Israel the the, the elect of Israel that who um obtained it <laughs> where say Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Yeah, the election is that's what this scripture referring to, the elect. They gonna receive it, man. They eyes are anointed with ourselves. They see who they teachers are, man. They see who they real leaders are, man. They see who their power is ultimately, man. And that's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know? They see that they went off, man. They see where they need to correct their ways and come back to the Lord and, and beg for mercy, man. Because, hey, our righteousness is that filthy rag. You can do a thousand videos. You can keep as many laws as you, you want to the best of your ability. You break one, you done broke them all. You can do all those things and still fall short, man. <laughs> we can never go do en enough or go far enough, man. Hey, the Lord is in control of all these things, man. The Lord don't give a damn about that. He looking for those who have faith, man. Who see the bigger picture. Who 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 earning his ways and, and, and crying out to him, ready to be saved out of this hell hole, taken out of these sinful bodies, man. We we don't like going off, man. We don't like, <laughs> you know, um evil thoughts popping in our heads, man towards one another, anything like that, man. We don't like feeling like that, man. You know, we want to be completely righteous, man. That's what we, we long for, man. I'm going to read that again. Revelation 18, 3 and 18, it say, I, I conceal account. I can I don't know how to say it. Let me see if I can pull it up. Yeah, counsel advice, especially given, especially that given formal advice conference. Consider. Pull it all the way up. Damn it. Counsel. Yeah, counsel. Counsel advice given, especially as a result of construction, cons constitution, constitution. He was unwise to reject my counsel. Yep. Oh, speaking about counsel. And that Proverbs 1. The Lord say these people despised all his counsel. Therefore, they go, uh, I'm going to just go straight to the point. Um, Proverbs 1 and, let me find it first. Probably 30, maybe. I start at 21 and just read fast. 20 and read fast. It say wisdom craft without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She craft in the chief place of concourse and the opening of the gates in the city. She uttered of her words saying, how long ye simple was where ye love simplicity and ye scorners delight in your, their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. How the Lord doing it through the prophets. Because I have called and ye have refused, I have scratched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction as a whirlwind ang and distress and anguish come upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer, and uh, I will not answer. They 
shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did choose choose and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They were none of my my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own ways and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. Perish. They're going to perish, man. But there's no vision of people uh, perish. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearkeneth unto me. And, and that's why I say, um. Happy is the man that keepeth the law. Roughly path, um, he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Why? Because, hey, this is what's going to ultimately happen for you that hearken unto the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear and evil. Yeah. So, hey, when the times will come where people perishing, starving to death, Getting ate by a newly created beast, you know. Happy is gonna be you, man, because hey, you gonna be protected, man. You gonna dwell safely in that time, man. When those missiles come, you gonna see the chairs beaming everybody up. Then that beam hit you, and, and you don't catch on fire. You feel yourself going up, and you chain. Hey, that's you dwelling safely before those missiles hit, man. You're going to be happy, man. Hey, man, you ain't going to lose nothing for not following your how about shimmy how shot, man. And if you don't follow, I mean, you ain't going to lose nothing for following your how about shimmy how shot. You know, as for once you get, I mean, once it happens, you know. But what you're going to lose if you don't follow him is your life, man. The Lord's going to kill you, man. You know. Yeah, I had a tongue twist to slack it. That's it on it. I'm going to read this one more time. Revelation 3 and 18. I, <coughs> I counsel thee to be slack. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. And the Lord say we gold tried in the fire. That thou mayest be rich. And white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, that the shame of thy nakedness, and when you go into the shame of thy nakedness, it's going into being in sin, covered in sin, man. Do not appear in thy, and anoint thine eyes with eyes that thou mayest see. And we see, man, we see who our enemy is, man. We see what the Lord is doing to this place, man. And he using the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, to do it, man. You know, we see these things, man. It's plain, man. This Matthew chapter 13 and verse 15, it say, For this people heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they and their eyes they have closed, least at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears. And should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes for they see in your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which, which ye see and have not seen them. And hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. Yeah, many righteous men and prophets, they wanted to see what we see. Ultimately, they seeing it through reincarnation because they back the day and they lots prophesying. You know, want to see what we see, man. Hear what we hear, man. See these prophecies of the mark of the beast, man, coming to pass, you know. They want to see these things, man. You know, and hey, the fall of our enemy, we want to see this, man. You know. The great overthrow. Let's get this in Habakkuk, and this the last scripture I'm gonna close at. This Habakkuk chapter two and verse one. I will stand upon my watch. And how you gonna stand upon a watch if you don't have no vision, man? Your ass blind, but you you on the damn watchtower. 
but fucking can't see. How can you warn for um uh, 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 intruders or invaders, man? You can't even fucking see, man. You know? I would stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I would watch to see what he shall say unto me, and I and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the table, that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for a point of time, but at the end it shall speak. Let me start back at the top of three. I'm going to reread two again, too. It say, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon the tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for a point in time. So if you blind, <laughs> how the hell are you going to see the vision, man? You know, the Lord blocked this from you so you can't see the vision. So you can hear the word, either scoff or just, uh, I don't want to hear that. You know, and go on about your business so you can be destroyed, man. You're going to be caught up in these times, man. It say, for the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, man. You know, and the vision is here, man. You know, hey, <laughs> Babylon the Great is falling fast. You know, Esau trying to get his new world order on the on the way. These countries got them getting ready for World War Three. You know. They they trying to put their new world order in place, man. And we see it, man. But two thirds of our people, they don't see it. They talking about vote, man. They they call upon a fucking devil to save them, man. You know? Well, all these fucking crackers, man, if they are lineage, go back to the line of East Hunger for what color they is. They want you dead, man. They want you uh, non-existent. That's why they shoot you down, man. Shoot your kids down, man. Because they have a perpetual hatred for the children of Israel, man. It ain't going to stop, man. But we have the vision to see that. We And ultimately, it also go back to our sins, man. Hey, we ain't, hey. We went off, man, and the Lord is punishing us, man. He said he's going to serve your enemy in the land which thou knowest not, man. You know? So this is where we at with it, man. And we have the vision to see it, man. The Lord has set up pastors according to his heart that shall feed you with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Starting with our apostles and elders on down. And before that, them... They apostles and elders on down, man, through the spirit, man. You know? And, and, and hey, look what this formed into, man. This great ministry, man. You know? Other elect, man, teaching and preaching the word, man. Lord willing, we are that number, man. You know? And also the other brothers, you know, in the other camps who teaching in truth and sincerity, the Lord going to bring them out of you know, going off and they going to realize who the true man of the Lord is and they going to repent, man. They elect amongst them too. They see it, you know. I ain't going to say how all of them is, but hey, they it's the, the elect amongst different camps as well. It ain't just GMS. GMS just a, a title, man, that the Lord gave to the apostles and elders to call themselves, man. They look count, man. You know, but Lord willing, this was edifying, you know, hey, where there is no vision, the people perish and a lot of people finna die, man. You know, matter of fact, let me get one more. A lot of people finna die. The second Exodus 2 and verse 15. Behold, speak thou unto the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said of Yahweh, because they are faithful. Because, uh, Salakia, <laughs> I'm jumping the gun. And cause them to be written on paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee, and let not the incredulity, the non-belief, of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You know, so all the unfaithful are gonna perish, man. But hey, 
he that keepeth the law, happy is he, man. You know? So, Lord willing, this was edifying. Hey, if you hear this word, man, repent and come back to your house, bless your house, shout. The Lord set us up to teach and wake our people up, man. You know? Hey, pray to the Lord to open your eyes that you see it, man. Call upon him before it's too late. Shalom. I'm a, I'm so like I'm gonna end to give infinite honor and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakadash and double honors once again to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone rule where have been a great example to his younger brothers. And with that, Shalom.